A Daytona Beach man is sitting in jail accused of trying to set up a sex date with two teen girls. On top of that, investigators say the man was planning to kill the girl's mother. But Channel 9 Sierra Putman found out he was actually talking to an undercover officer. Sierra, he's accused of telling that officer that he thought religious freedom might protect them if they got caught. Vanessa, he thought he could play that card if he said he was going to marry the girls. The problem, the girls he was trying to meet would have been 13 or 14 years old, way too young to be legally married here in Florida. This is Vance Taylor. Today, the 29-year-old faced multiple charges, accused of trying to have sex with 13 and 14-year-old girls. He was arrested yesterday at an undisclosed meetup location 20 minutes away from this home. Neighbors say he shares with relatives. They are shocked by the news, saying they just saw him helping to put up these Christmas decorations. Police say they found this knife on Taylor, and he said, good thing it's the cops. I was going to kill that girl. Daytona Beach police say he told them he planned to kill the girl's mother. The Daytona Beach Police Department started messaging Taylor Wednesday after he posted an ad titled impregnate your daughter or sister or wife. An undercover agent posed as the mother of two teenage girls. They communicated by email and text. When asked which child he was interested in, police report Taylor emailed, I'm not picky. The undercover agent says Taylor later texted, I'm going to say I'm arranging a marriage so we are protected by religion if messages end up in the wrong hands. Not not knowing Florida law prevents marriage for anyone younger than 16, even if their parents give permission. The undercover agent responded by asking if he didn't want to go through with the plan. Taylor replied, I want to do it. I just don't want to be on TV. And Daytona Beach police just told me that knife was found in Vance Taylor's pocket. This afternoon, he was formally charged and his bond was set at $60,000. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Sierra Putman, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.